the card they needed. I jinxed myself, guys. Every single time I jinx myself. What's up, guys? And welcome to another epic unboxing or a versus featuring Pokemon. Yes, this was a suggestion. Like, I want to say, like, probably since January, I would imagine. And we finally get around to it. But this was suggested from a viewer like yourselves in the comments. Basically saying that, you know what a be better comparison is with the Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary? Why not the 25th Anniversary of Pokemon, which is of course Celebrations, which was released back in October 2021. Just to make it a little bit of a fair comparison, because I, I was kind of looking at the price for Rarity Collection as well as uh, Celebrations. It was only fair that I went ahead and used a previous box I opened. And if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check that out. But I think I already pulled all my quarter century rares, potentially. There might be one more left in it, but uh, it's only fair because that some of the prices for celebrations have not been great. But I will talk about those later down the video. Now, if you guys have a better versus down the road featuring Pokemon celebrations or even rare collection one or two, let me know in the comments down below. But yes, you guys know the drill. Press a like for luck for either Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh. So before we roll into the match, let's talk a little bit about Celebrations and the Rarity Collection. First and foremost, as I mentioned, Celebrations came out in 2021. Some of the high value pulls, it's kind of split into two different, the classic collection as well as the traditional Celebrations. But the high value sought after card from Celebrations is of course that Charizard card, which unfortunately, not really fortunately, at least for me, I did already pull that card as well as the other main starters like both Blastoise and Venusaur and I got those graded as well check out that video right here if you guys want to see that graded but I wouldn't mind getting another one because if you recall in that video I only got a PSA 9 and I do want to get a PSA 10 Charizard uh, at least for the 20th anniversary to see exactly you know how it goes but again the high value card is the Charizard right now going at a price of $76.84 so that's still high up there it's still going to be worth at least a five pointer but um, not quite high as it used to be the second highest card is that Mew secret rare um gold secret rare at $22.51 so as you can see it tapers quite significantly from that charizard the third highest being umbreon star which is only $15.68 so quite a significant difference i pulled a lot of these cards the only cards i haven't pulled i guess from this celebration sets is maybe rayquaza or the shining magic card perhaps but a lot of the cards i got already from celebration so i'm not really sure what else i'm missing from my collection rolling into this one anniversary rare collection you guys already know that i've talked about this multiple times in this, in this channel but the number one card is of course that ash blossom and of course that joyish price Joyish? It sounds like I'm saying a different word. But that Joyish price is $172.56. The second highest card is, of course, the Infinite Imprints. I can't pronounce that word correctly, but whatever. It has $77.07. The third highest is another quarter century rare, Triple Tactics Town, Triple T, as I like to call them, at $59.49. So I think it's only fair that. I'm like, more than likely, I'm probably not gonna get quarter century rare from the Rarity Collection box because I did pull some. I, I do have a couple of empty boxes, but I think to, to kind of put a small, small little handicap, I might put the Rarity Collection on, uh, on a little disadvantage because um, the, because basically the price is from cele celebration sets. So if you, if you guys don't like that, maybe I'll do a fair unbox, unopen versus. But I think this, um, to make it really apples to apples, orange to orange, it's only fair that I kind of put a little disadvantage, a little uh, handicap, if you will, for celebrations. Um, maybe I didn't need to put a disadvantage. If I do make that mistake, then I will definitely do a rematch with apples and grapes. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that metaphor. Once again, guys, as you guys know, this video is sponsored by our boys at Ultra Pro. Oh yes, Th these binders, of course, has been the life of me. The Vivid version, the Vivid, gotta be the Vivid. Because I, it's like the way it feels, it has the zippers, the, the, the lines, that the way it, the texture is. And of course, it's side loading as well, which you gotta love because no matter if you flip it like this, upside down, which is of course very important for a collector like myself and those watching this video. Now, normally this is actually my 2016 binders because of the, you know, every four years I do like a, you know, a color differentiating year. It's because I, I'm actually loading my OTS cards, which of course I did a video of 
in this binder. So that's why it's a different color than my normal red or white binders. And if you guys want to support the show, definitely check out the affiliate link down below. It's an Amazon affiliate link. And of course, it helps support the show getting videos like this versus like this every single week. Like I, I wouldn't know what to do without you guys. But whatever you do, whether you click the link or not, love you guys. Back to the main verses. Let's do this. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, opening up this right here, the 25th anniversary box, because I already opened up the rarity box. What I find interesting about the celebration box, I think it's worth more sealed, I think, but I still love the way it looks. Obviously, the texture of it, even though it's only hard plastic, I do like it. Promo for you guys as well, and TCG Online. I haven't seen it a bit in a while. It does come with other packs in here, so it, it comes with uh, Chilling Rains which I might open as a one pack pull. It does come in promos here. I believe it's one promo, maybe two, I don't know. And it is the Greninja star card. 20th anniversary one. So yeah. So yeah, B back to the packs. So the packs, I think it's only four cards per pack. So one, two, three, so 10 packs. I think I still have 12 actually. So I think two of them might, might default into a, uh, into possibly a uh, one pack pull. If not, maybe I'll just open it for laughs. But obviously only 10 of them will actually be counted as a point. Speaking of points, let's talk a little bit about points. If it breaks that $1 mark, that is gonna be $1. If it breaks the $5 mark, that is two points. If it breaks the $10 mark, that is three points. $20 is four points. $50 is five points. And of course the coveted six pointer, which I don't, I think only Ash Blossom breaks. And that's going to be a six pointer. We'll see how it goes. We're going to start with celebrations. I guess place your votes right now. Who's going to win? Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th anniversary edition. Let's do this. It's kind of crazy how Pokemon, like the price of it, like depreciated like a lot. Uh, I think eventually it will appreciate, but just give it time. Just give it time. Right now is just uh, maybe because it's still so, a lot of those cards still around. So that's why they're not priced as high. All right, we have the. Uh, Gyo Green, I guess. The Ho Ho. The Zemron. And we start out with a banger, a full art. Professor's Research. Ooh, yes. What a sexy beast that Mr. Oak is. Professor Oak. That's obviously going to be the card that I'll choose for this set. Let's see. Professor's Research Full Art. Wow, that is a major burn. Is that right? Yeah, it is. It's only 77 cents. Wow. I don't know, should I give that a point? Because like, like I just feel so bad for celebrations. I don't know, we'll, we'll put an asterisk on it, okay? We'll put an asterisk um, because I'm not sure if it's if it even needs it, but it might need it a little bit. And that's a beautiful card too. Like, I don't know why it's, it's not even, uh, worth anything right now all right off to rarity so i do appreciate the comment thinking that it might this might be a fair match but the way things are looking maybe I, if i did earlier I, like when i when that comment first came out back in january maybe it would have been better to do it then and there but uh i just took so long to actually do this versus it actually hurt it like pokemon more all right and i already know what, what card is going to be good right here we have the uh, effect of alar and of course, the Galaxy Eye Afterglow. And the Galaxy Eye Full Armor. All right, we're going with the uh, the Effect Veiler. It's uh, ultra rare only. Ultra rare, and it does break a dollar. This is $1.37, so that is an easy one-pointer. I forgot if I showed this one already, but um, that is the, uh, the code for the first pack of Pokemon. All right, second pack going right here. To be honest, I think it's probably worth more just keeping the celebrations unopened and just waiting, I don't know, another 25 years or whatever. The one thing I'm definitely behind on is opening Pokemon because obviously I have that booster box that was sent to me by a viewer um, of uh, Temporal Forces. And I think as of this recording session, uh, Twilight Masquerade should be out as well. So I'm definitely behind on my Pokemon openings, but I might have more time in the coming weeks, hopefully. But yeah, that's a quote for you guys. All right, we have the Cosmog. 
Dalga, the Cosmoan, <laughs> and a second professor of research. What the hell? Full art. I can see why now it's 77 cents. So another asterisk, I guess, because it is close, close enough. I'm really like pulling Pokemon's hand right now. But normally Pokemon is like something to be like kind of scared of, but um, and, and, and I usually am scared of Pokemon. But uh, right now I'm feeling pretty confident with the Yu-Gi-Oh right now for the most part. But we'll see, we'll see. I might pull something that's like a dud with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Right now I believe this one might be a dud. There's Summit Limit there, Ice Barrier. And the wind, the wind char channeler. I'm not sure how far I am with uh, close I am to finishing off uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but um, like I'm, I think I'm like 65%, maybe 70%. There's just those like little bit of cards I haven't gotten yet. So I'm gonna try the Egyptian God slime. It's probably not gonna be worth anything, but those are the only cards I see worth potentially points. Secret rare. Yep, it's only 38 cents. So I figured it won't be much. Right, hopefully we, we get a card that's not a professor's research. <laughs> it's already my third pack in and I haven't pulled anything really significant for Pokemon. That's truly a pointer. I find it kind of surprising though, because you I would think that Pokemon will still be like... Especially the 20th anniversary celebration will be worth uh, some money, but I guess not. I don't know. I don't know why. We have the Palkia. A lot of dupes for sure. Dalga and uh, Remshiram and a, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say and another Professor Research, but this one is actually different. This is the full art Pikachu, the fat Pikachu. I don't think this is worth much either. Wow, forty five cents, forty five cents. What's up with these prices? Is that right? I mean, it says it says near mint. Yeah, forty five cents. Wow. That one I, I can't give a point to. It's nowhere near a dollar. <laughs> All right, back to rarity. I was hoping for a, a little bit more of a challenge from Pokemon, but that's, that's the main reason why I gave it that handicap. We got Small Worlds. The Blue Eyes Abyss a Dragon. We got a uh, an ultimate rare of the Harpy's Feather Storm. The Lava Golem. And a Downer Magician. I'm gonna go with the Ultimate Rare of the Harpies. I, I, I have a feeling this one is under a dollar as well. Maybe slightly over, maybe slightly over? I don't know, we'll see. All right, Harpies, Ultimate Rare. Ooh, 90 cents, 90 cents. I mean, if I want to give the um, some points to Pokemon for 77 cents, we'll give that one a point to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's only fair, right? It's only fair. It's still a pretty close match. Anyway. All right, next, celebrations. And it comes down below. Let me know, like, um, what, what was your favorite twin anniversary, I guess, set? Was it the celebrations? Was it Rarity Collection? Obviously, I think Rarity Collection 2 is probably out or will be out. Um, by the time this video is uploaded. Actually, it might not be. I don't know, because I, pl I plan on uploading or recording that video next week. So it might it might not be available just quite yet. But I plan on doing a lot of verses with Rarity Collection 2 and Rarity Collection 1 and the differences between those two. So definitely subscribe for that. All right, we have a new card here. I bet this one is not worth much at all. And it's the Zacion V or Zacon V or Zacon. Zacon, Zacoff. What? <laughs> Number 16. Let's move on. All right. 34 cents. Celebrations. What's going on, guys? Out of curiosity, how many how many cards actually do break points? Let me see. Um, so only 16 cards, well, 17 cards break a dollar with, um, with this. Wow. I mean, granted, there's not a lot of cards in Celebrations. Like, I'm um, looking at this. I think this is only... I mean, it's decent. Like, it, uh, I'll, I'll still say it's about like 30%, maybe break over a dollar, but it's not a lot. That's not a lot. All right, back to, back to our rarity. 
And kind of like I mentioned in the intro, I think it's kind of worth more just keeping it sealed than I'm trying to open up the celebrations. All right. Got the download magician. And we have a card that I know for sure will break a dollar. The Nibiru. Nibiru? Is it Nibiru or Nibiru? And then the effect Valar. Only a super though. But I'm pretty sure this one will break that down. All right, this is only a ultra rare, but it's probably a decent rare. Yep, $2.04, so that is a point. Come on, Pokemon. I mean, um, go going with the history of Pokemon though, throughout the years, Pokemon was definitely my first into TCG world. Like, um, got, you know, obviously with the base sets and everything like that. I never got a Charizard uh, as a kid. But I did get a, a Venusaur. I did get a Chansey. Um, I'm trying to think what the high value cards I got from that that error. I did get a, a Mewtwo, but I, I think that was from a trade. Um, but um, that, I, I wanted that Charizard, like every every boy did, but I never did. I never did, and I'm sad for that. All right, we have a new card here. We have the Tabu Lily GX card from the classic side, I believe. And the final card is uh, Luna La. Yeah, I never got this card, so this would be added to my collection for sure. Here we go. Uh, this breaks a dollar, two dollars and seventy-five cents. So that is a legit point for Pokemon. And it's a pretty card too. So if I if I keep the asterisk, we are tied three for three. Now, when it came to uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, it, it was my second one. But um, obviously, it was my um, the ones that I really kind of dive a lot into. Obviously, I'm going to be picking this one. <laughs> we got the Pop Desires. We got the Schism. And the Dogmatic of Punishment. But yeah, I I've always loved uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I think, um, like, I think what I really liked about Yu-Gi-Oh more so than Pokemon, at least at that time, my, my, my mind frame as a kid, is the fact that like uh, it felt more mature. You know, it wasn't made for kids, even though technically Yu-Gi-Oh was also made for kids. But it felt it wasn't really made. For, it was it, it was like it felt like it was made for teens. You know what I mean? And uh, that's kind of like where I was at that time. I was like, I'm not a little boy. I'm like that's for that's not for little boys. Like you know, even though they're four years younger than me, they're still little boys. Secret rare, six dollars and twenty nine cents. Ooh, that, that's quite a bit. It is worth two points. Taking the lead. Taking a massive lead, actually. Not, not okay. I should say massive lead. De de decently. Five to three. All right. Back to celebrations. Now, the one thing I, I I would like to do sometime in this channel, if I can, is open up some of those those base cards for for Pokemon. But they're so expensive. Even the unlimited um, base sets are expensive. So. And a lot of YouTubers, they're breaking in and stuff like that, opening them up and all that. So there, there, there'll probably be no chance in hell that I'll be able to open up um, a full booster box. I might be able to pull like maybe like a couple of packs from it, but even that's expensive. We got Birthday Pikachu. That probably be the one I'll choose. And they got the Mew. If I can get it out. Okay, there we go. And they got the Mew here. And of course, the code for you guys. Right, birthday Pikachu. I've already graded one, but I'll, I would like to grade a, 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 another one. This one looks like it's better centering. So we'll see if I can get a PSA 10. Actually, I'm, I have to check. I, I, I think I had a PSA 9, but I would like to get a PSA 10 of it. Here we go. $4.69. Is that close enough to a two pointer? Should we take it? I'm going to say no. If it's in the, it, was, it was like $4.70. Or, or like 475 then I'll say yes but we're just gonna keep that as a single pointer enough to kind of catch up a little bit all right back to rarity now obviously this, this, this video comes out before very collection 2 comes out it comes out it should be at, it should be next week uh, if, I, if I recall um, is that should release right now I have to do, I have to double check but um, I'm definitely picking up a couple, couple of those boxes, which I'm very, very much excited for. 
Um, I hear mixed things about, about it. Some people say it's really good. Some people say it's really bad. But I think what makes it really bad is the fact that they're reprinting a lot of uh, like meta cards and devaluing their earlier, uh, as, as a collector especially, is devaluing a lot of the uh, cards from the previous sets. Um, especially if, it, if it's the same rarities or if it's a, uh, a, 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 like a lower rarity, so kind of de devalues it. But I'm definitely gonna pick the Forbidden Droplets, ultra rare only, but it's still gonna be worth decent amount of points. Ultra rare, there it is, $4, $4. And of course, I, 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 forgot, to, I, forgot, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but obviously the prices do change every single day. Um, th these are just the value of the prices as of right now. So imagine like five years, 10 years from now, like the Pokemon cards that I pulled today might actually be worth a lot of money. So, so definitely uh, take that into a grain of salt if you're watching this video five, 10 years from now. If you are, thank you. <laughs> Hello, future you. Am I still alive? <laughs> and obviously we saw we saw all these already. And we do get a surfing, surfing Pikachu V as our higher rarity, I guess. And of course the Kofi guys. All right, R surfing Pikachu V. Probably not much. Yep, as I expected, 56 cents. Another dud. Wah, wah, wah. Rarity. The big card that I definitely want to get from the rarity collection is that Ash Blossom. I think, I feel like every, like all of my friends already got it. I'm like the last one who didn't get it yet. I was like, what the hell guys? Give me a, give me an Ash Blossom. I want an Ash Blossom. Okay, we have an ultimate rare of the Code Talker. I don't think that's worth any points, even as an ultimate rare. The Predator Plant. It's an Ultra. And then the Cyber Angel. That is the highest card, I think, from this set. So if I have to go with any choices from, from this, it'll probably be the Code Talker Ultimate Rare. So let's see what this price is. Ultimate Rare. Wow, really? <laughs> really? The ultimate rare, 19 cents. For a higher rarity, that's bad. That's really, really bad for an ultimate rare. All right, back to Pokemon. We still got, we got three packs left from Pokemon. The score so far is five to four. So still, still close actually, still close. And that's with the, uh, the asterisk. All right, got this card about her. Can't pronounce it, so I'm not. I'm just gonna say it right here. <gasps> the card they needed. Oh my god! I'm, not this one, but the card they needed, guys, is the Charizard. What? What? Oh my god! So I am going to deduct the uh, the asterisk. Only because, like, it's only fair. And I, I didn't count any, uh, uh, I don't know if I showed that one yet, the code, you guys. So I'm not sure if they need the asterisk anymore, but this is the card they needed. Um, I can probably get this graded as well. But I am missing a, uh, a PSA 10 Charizard. But yes, guys. <laughs> wow, Pokemon. Wow. All right, removing the asterisk now. I jinxed myself, guys. Every single time I jinx myself, oh yeah, Pokemon, I'll give them a, 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 you know, a benefit of the doubt, you know. And then they just wipe it out of the park. But yeah, guys, as you guys know, this is the highest price card of Celebrations at $76.84, giving it the whopping five pointer. Wow. Wow. God damn it. I jinx myself all the time. I always seem to underestimate Pokemon. I always do. It's so annoying. <laughs> but it's still technically in my card, so. But yeah, guys, the score now is 7 to 5. 7 to 5. But it's okay, though. Like, it might actually end. I really, I really, don't, want, I really don't want it to end as a tie, but it might end up as a tie. Um, because uh, I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's still anybody's game. And guys. 
Press a like for luck, especially if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. Got the Varus hero, 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 the Dogmatica, the Virtuous, the uh, the Golden Lord, and, and I don't think I got anything from this set. The Savage Dragon. So yeah, this is only one card I think might be worth points, but we'll see. Yeah, none of these are none of these are actually good. That sucks. All right, anyway. The ultra rare of this card is only 21 cents, so that is no points. And I needed that one to catch up. All right, we still got two more packs of Pokemon. Maybe the rest of, since since we took out the, the handicap, we might be able to catch up here. We have the Zekron. <laughs> Let's see if pulls something else cool, but we'll see. The Palkia. The Ho-Ho. And the Luna Law? Yeah, I don't think it, this one was a dud for sure. All right, and a code for you guys. Let me know what the codes are. Let me, uh, let me know what you get in the codes as well. But I don't think any of these are good. I really don't. I guess we'll go with Ho Ho here. Yep, as I figured, 16 cents. 16 times the details. Cannot believe it. The one card that celebrations needed. Pokemon needed to win a secure victory, but we still got two more packs from, from Yu-Gi-Oh, so we'll see. We have the Tribe Grade uh, Revolt. D uh, dimensional Barrier. And as I pull some more duds. The Magical Fusion. The Servant, I guess. And a Pot of Prosperity. I think the, the I don't think this is the pod that I needed. In context, that, that kind of sounded bad, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember like if this is the pod that I needed because I know there's a, a, a pod of desires which I, which I know is not good. Pod of um, extravagance, which I believe might be good, and it's also a pod of prosperity. But I'm gonna go with my gut here and go with the pot because none of the cards look like they're worth much from what I see or remember anyway. But yeah, number 66, super rare only too, by the way. So I'm kind of pushing a little bit of luck here. All right, super rare. Oh yeah, that's the one. That is the one I need it. $6.98, so that is two points. Yes. Obviously I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fanboy, obviously. And that ties it up. That ties it up. That means we're down to one pack. One pack to rule them all. Now granted, I have a choice between three packs for, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! So um, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait on that one. But this is the last pack for Pokemon. Can he, can he, can he sneak in like a two-pointer maybe? I don't know. We'll see. If they do sneak in a two-pointer, uh, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough call. All right, we have this card. Oh, a card I can't pronounce. That card, another card I can't really pronounce. Dalga. And he do pull a full art out of nowhere. The Flying Pikachu V Max, which looks very, very cool. And of course, the code for you guys. All right, now let's see here. Is Flying Pikachu V Max worth at least a point or two? Flying Pikachu V Max, it is. One dollar and five cents, so that is a singular point to at least break the lead or break into the lead. I'm, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> Eight to seven, which means out of these three packs, which will I choose for points? Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Um. Gonna go with this one. Well, uh, I'm gonna go in the middle. I'm gonna go in the middle. And then we'll we'll still open up those two packs just to see if, if I made the right. It's 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 like it's like that one game show um, with the with the cases, the brute cases. 
can't think of the name of the game right there, but let's see if I chose the right right case. And I know Bella and Bash wants, wants to go. They're like bored. You can kind of see in the background. Look, Bella! Bella, wave! Wait, wait, wave! Give me like the attitude, Bella. All right, anyway, we got the red flare, red eyes flare. The nightmare unicorn. Oh, I, think I, I think I picked the right one. The infinite imprints, ultra rare. But I do pull a collector's rare of the El Eldritch, which I'm pretty sure is not gonna be worth points. And the code talker inverted. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna choose the infinite. All right. I need I need two points. I need two points. Drum roll, please. Ultra rare. Wow. Four dollars and sixty nine cents. That is only one point. That is insane. That means this game ended in a tie. This game ended in a tie, guys. I am so sorry. There's no definitive winner. Wow. Actually, what I could do as a tiebreaker, we do have that promo card, um, the uh, Greninja Star, which means we can we can use use this as points, as well as another pack. If for some reason no points from these two, then I do have other Pokemon cards that were included, but it just is just not the collectors or the celebrations. But hopefully we don't go to that that resort. resort. Because I do not want to end this game in a tie. All right, Greninja Star. What, what is what is the price on this promo? Here we go, Greninja. The verdict is two dollars and eighty nine cents for this one ungraded. So that is going to be a point. Down to my last two packs. <laughs> Which one I'm gonna choose now? Okay, I'm gonna choose this one. All right. Again. I need two points to win, but if it ends in a tie again, that means we have one more chance at a victory. I've never ended a game in a tie, and I will not start now. All right, we have the Danger Jackalope, the Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon Secret, and then we have the Collector's Rare of the Evening Star, and yes, a cart that I desperately needed the triple tactics talent ultra rare hell yeah and then the, the win the win charmer or challenger all right definitely going with the triple t even though this one's a collector's rare probably not worth points gotta go with the triple t is this the one guys is this the one all right ultra rare triple t it is Five dollars and fifty-eight cents. The two points that I needed for victory, giving it the lead and the win. Holy crap, guys! The final score for this epic match. Well, Bella and Bash are like playing the background. <laughs> Celebrations with nine points and rarity ten points down to the tiebreaker. We still have this final pack here, which I will open just to see what we have in it. But uh, wow, what a clunch, what a clinch clunch. Always get the, the, those words um, different, but yeah. The Elder, we have the reinforcement of the army, the, the God Slime, the Savage Dragon, uh, looks like it's a ultimate rare. And of course, the final card is Schism. All right. Wow, guys. Wow. What a match. And we pulled Charizard. Wow. Like, this is actually a very, very epic opening. Hope you guys enjoyed this like I have. And if you guys want to see more of these verses or rematch, maybe it's not fair. Celebration should have won, you're thinking. Let me know in the comments if you want to do a rematch. Or maybe another versus future Pokemon versus Yu Gi Oh! What set do you guys think will be a fair? Maybe not fair. I don't know. Like, give, give me suggestions is all I'm saying. In the comments down below of a future versus future Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. I would love to hear it. But yeah, guys, my name is Talos. This, of course, is Celebrations versus Rarity Collection. Part 1 only. Maybe we do a part 2 Rarity versus Celebrity. I don't know. 
I don't know, what do you guys think? Probably not. That's probably more, more unfair. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let me know, guys. Love you. I'll see you there. Peace.